Hello everyone, we're live from Linsborg, and today I am going to uh, treat you to some of my favorite treats. I'm going to show you some things that are here. And I'm at White's Food Liner, which some of you may have known as Scott's. It was, uh, it's been a grocery store, excuse me, just staple here in Linsborg, um, in a well-loved place for many years. We had a successful business succession and uh, the White family purchased this grocery store. And one of the things that they've done that I have absolutely loved is they've expanded their Swedish food section. So I am um, here right now with Jeff Hawkinson, the manager, and he is going to uh, give us a little bit of a store tour in just this section and tell us some of his favorite things. And I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite things too so that you know what to get the next time you're in Lindsborg. So I'm gonna let Jeff take it away. I'm gonna flip the camera around here really quick so he can give you a little bit of tour. So Jeff, this has really expanded a lot. I mean, like a lot since the White family took this over. Well, certainly, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, I'm store director. They, they brought me on when we, uh, when we changed hands. Um, yeah, we brought on quite a, quite a large uh, inventory. We've added about, uh, oh, between 35 to 4,000 uh, different unique items that uh, we had not carried in the past. Um, uh, Jordan. And some of these are in the Swedish section. Yes. Right, yeah. Jordan White has brought on a lot, a lot uh, better selection of candy. Uh, so everyone, this like is a favorite of mine. I love this. So does Jim uh, Richardson, and this I think is my other favorite. They're soup. No, 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 no. This one, sour raspberry. I love the sour ones. They're my absolute favorite. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and we also just brought in some new, uh, some new lingonberries. This is a uh, wild lingonberry sauce. Um, that we had not carried previously. You know, we've had the staples down here. The Felix is always a hot seller, but we have a lot so of new So what's the selection. difference between a sauce and a jam? A is sauce? it just a little runnier? Like yeah. you might use it for meatballs or a meat sauce or maybe yeah. on your ice cream? Yeah, a sauce would be good for ice cream, good for your Swedish pancakes. Um, oh, okay. We really, uh, you know, I, I like, uh, I'm an Oostkaka fan. So, oh, yes, you know, we, and you have that here too. We do, we have some, uh, you know, we ba make it fresh here in the store. It's. Uh, I believe it's uh, five ninety nine a package, and she uh, Denise has a, a old recipe back there. We don't use the whole milk um, because we have to use pasteurized for uh, processes. The old, uh, I guess, the old traditional recipe uses the raw milk, which you still can get and you, you can still do it, but uh, uh, the state uh, kind of restricts us as far yeah, as yeah, and it 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 changes. Products. It's a little different in the way the rena is used, I think, possibly for it. But right. this is really good stuff, and you can just purchase this. It comes frozen, so you basically just have to heat it up, and it's good to go. Correct? Yeah. yeah. Or, ordinarily, if if you just thaw it in the refrigerator, and then you can serve it up. Um, yeah. It takes about four hours to thaw in the fridge. And, okay. And it, yeah, really good so, stuff. So what else do you have that's popular? Oh, you know, the potato sausage. Oh, um, yeah. Right here is probably our number one seller. Uh, it's an old recipe that we've used here at uh, when it was Scott's and before when it was Eldon's. Uh, the recipe, I'm told, and this is about maybe five years ago, the recipe was about 80 years old. So it's about an 85-year-old recipe that, uh, that we use, and we're true to it. Um, Michelle mixes it up from scratch with the ingredients back there in the department. And we did a video on that that people can go back and look for if they want to, either on Facebook or on YouTube. And that was a super fun day. And I'm not very good at making potato <laughs> sausage. I learned that really uh, quickly. Yeah. You also make your own Swedish meatballs, correct? Right, right. yeah. We, yeah. we roll that from uh, scratch. We, uh, we use product back there in the meat department uh, to uh, grind the uh, grind the product together. And then we uh, hand roll each meatball out. Uh, in, into pans and and so yep it's uh, it's another uh, homemade recipe that, uh, that you, you can, can get, get here. just here in Lensport. Get, get right so here in Lensport. So what else can we find here? I noticed there's a new case around the corner. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. So what all? We have a much broader selection of pickled herring. Uh, we've got for the, some, yeah, for those of you that are the pickled herring lovers, I'm not so fond of it, but there are are some people that absolutely love it. Yeah, we've really expanded our. Uh, our herring and Cajun sauce. Oh, so it's uh, is like so, spicy. It's something new for, yeah, if you if you like things a little on the zesty side, which I do, but not everyone does. Um, but yeah, and then we also have some different pack sizes and things like that, so. Um, and if you really want it, people, you can get like, like huge buckets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's. That's for the lovers. That's the salt uh, brine. Yeah, that, okay. That's usually those that want to make their own recipes. So, um, okay. yeah. 
So it's so uh, around the corner, you have a lot of dried goods. Right. So what all do you carry? I mean, like what all? Well, just you, there's all kinds of candy. I always come out here when I have school groups because I love to get the candies out here. Right. But you also have like Swedish pancake mix that you can grab, so you can make it just from a from a box, which is super easy to do. Right. I always right. love those that instead of having to make them from scratch. And this is another hot item that you know when people come in, um, they like to to uh, buy their uh, potato starch flour to make their own uh, um, lesfa. Okay. Um, yeah. And the yellow peas and the brown beans are always, especially during the holiday season, the yellow peas and brown beans are always good. And that, and that's something we've always had. Um, the newer items, oh, we'll kind of move down here. Uh, the Dream of Sweden is new to us. Um, they're a, uh, looks like we got a farmer cookie and a Corinthian cookie which are very popular. These are right my now. absolute favorite yes. of the Honest Thins. I love the citrus or the orange flavored ones. Those are my favorite. All of them are good, but those are to yeah. me the absolute, absolute best. Yeah, those are good. These are the ones that sell the, sell the most of, but uh, yeah. And uh, we've also got some, uh, we brought in some potato chips too from uh, Sweden. Um, we got the, uh, oh, they're, they're a wild potato chip, so. Um, I haven't tried this, and it looks like a in. dill, a chives dill, and sour cream, wild right. potato, which must be plain, and then a, a smoked paprika. Oh, that actually looks really good. Yeah. I'll have to try that. Yeah, those... I'll have to grab a few things before I leave today. So For, those, for the snack hounds that are out yeah, there. Yeah, get my honest thin. Those are faves for me. And then I love, love, love. If you've never had dime, this is amazing. This is like chocolate-covered toffee. And then Doomle is like a melt-in-your-mouth chocolate-covered caramel. I absolutely oh, yeah. love, love, love it. Those yeah. we keep in our office. And then we also keep, and these, I believe, are actually finished down here, uh, the Marianne candy. We keep these in our office, and they're a, a hard peppermint with chocolate in the middle. They're absolutely to die for. No, and I've not tried the, the toffee-filled mint. I haven't done those yet. So okay. those might be something I'll grab, too. Good, good. So what are store hours here if people want to come in and grab some things we while they're in Lensport? We are open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, seven days a week. Uh, now our summer hours, we're open till 10, and that generally runs between uh, uh, Labor Day or Memorial Day and Labor Day. So um, sometime after Labor Day, we'll go back to the 9 o'clock when, when the sun starts going down a little bit earlier. But yeah, 7 to 9, seven days a week. So, okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to show you a few of my favorite things. And so now I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping before I leave today. I'm gonna to pick up some new candy for my office and some cookies for myself. And, and I will head home and I will also show you a few pictures later. I'll post some pictures of faves so that when you come to Lindsborg, you can pull out your camera and look for the things that we've shared with you today. We'll see you again next week, signing off from Lindsborg.